I'm going to show you 50 tips in LockSeq to go from starter to pro. For those who don't know, I'm a fourth year medical student in Switzerland. I got you the timestamps in the description, now let's jump into it. LockSeq is a markdown based platform for personal knowledge management. You can download the desktop app on their website. LockSeq is free, but you can help the people behind LockSeq financially by making donations, so that they can continue their work. You can open an existing or create a new directory on your device by clicking this. Your data will be stored only on this device. A directory in this case is your folder. You can go to the search bar to create a new page. Type enter to start a new block. Type shift plus enter to create a new line in the current block. Click tab to change the block into a let's call it child block. You can hide children blocks by clicking this arrow. Click a bullet point to isolate the block from the other blocks. The hierarchy is shown at the top and you can go back by clicking on the title of your note. Click command and plus to enlarge the view or command and minus to reduce it. Type slash to show all the commands. Type two square brackets to reference or create a new page. You can click it to actually go to that page or you can press shift plus click it to open it in the right sidebar. At the bottom you see both linked references and unlinked references. Type two parentheses to reference a block on any page. You can press shift plus click it to open it in the right sidebar as well. Try making some changes on the right sidebar. Those referenced blocks will be changed too. Backlinks. Use the brackets to create backlinks. There is a preset in LockSeq which is the journal, showing the date today. You can create a page in the journal by using brackets. Type shift plus tab to unindent a child block. Type slash draw for free drawing with Excali draw. Type an angle bracket for more formatting commands, for example quotes. Embed blocks. You can embed entire blocks and their children by typing slash and selecting block embed. Embed pages. You can embed entire pages by typing slash and selecting page embed. Tags. Use tags to categorize any page or block, then click on it to see every single time you used it. Tasks. Press Ctrl or Command plus Enter inside a block to cycle through different workflow marks. You can then also type slash and choose your priority, A, B or C. Graph. After you've created and connected some pages and ideas, check out your digital brain growing. Click on the graph. Glossary. Click Help, Getting Started, then Glossary to get to know new terms. Templates. You can use a block and its children as a template for reuse purpose. Let's say you want to turn this block into a template block for reuse. You can right click the block dot and click make template to give it the name. To use the template simply type slash template and choose the name of the template. Search. Click command plus u to search something in your full text. Markdown syntax. Type an underline in front of and after your text to make it italic or one star to make it bold or two carrots to highlight it. Page graph. Click the right symbol on the top and then page graph to see all your connected ideas from the page you're working at. Click command plus shift plus up to move a block upwards or command plus shift plus down to move it downwards. Click command plus shift plus A to select all blocks. Go to the settings and then to shortcuts to customize your keyboard shortcuts. Go to the settings and then to general. Here you can change your theme mode, language and check for updates. PDF highlights. First create a new block in any page. Drag your PDF file to the new block. Then select a paragraph and choose your favorite color. You can add a paragraph of your PDF in LockSeq as a reference as well. You can add hashtag card to any block to turn it into a card. You can also type slash close to add some closes.
You can integrate Sotero and Logseek. There is an excellent explanation on how to do that by the channel One Stuttering Mind. Wiki method. You can use the reference feature to make your own wiki, but this could probably worsen the overview in your graph. A tip to maintain the graph's overview is to use the same keywords at the end of your text for notes with the same or similar topics. Click this button and then all pages to get a table that shows all your pages. There is a useful FAQ platform on Logseek. Maybe you'll find your answers there. Join the community at Discord to discuss various topics around Logseek. Make sure to update Logseek once a day, as bugs get fixed constantly. Privacy. In Logseek all your notes get stored in your local computer, unlike other apps where everything gets stored in the cloud. This means that privacy should be guaranteed in Logseek. Because Logseek works with plain text, you can open the files in other apps which are markdown based as well. For example, Obsidian. Color. You can right click the bullet point of your block and change the color of your block. Embed page in cards. You can embed a page in cards as well. To escape formatting, use a backslash. Alright, we're coming to an end. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see next. Also, like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me. And see you in the next one. Bye.